Alright, lads, CFC Vlogger here, and welcome to another CFC match review. This time the review will be of the, um, Cholton vs QPR away, uh, QPR away game. <laughs> I got there eventually. Um, and generally I did go to the away game, as I will do most London games and hopefully a few others. Um, so yeah, and getting up there was easy, getting back was easy. Probably the easiest in terms of travelling away game I've had so far, so pretty good um so the match was pretty dull to be honest with you a really dull match um good support from Charlton as we generally do in kind of local areas we're not I don't we're, we're not particularly great going further up north but you know within London we always seem to bring a very good support and that didn't change for this match um we actually it started off fairly well, QPR dominated near enough the whole game, but it was boring really. They kind of controlled, we defended well. Um, their goal came through a Charlie Austin, just amazing hit. He really hit well. Um, ben Hamer couldn't do anything about it. Um, in terms of Charlton performances, Ben Hamer had a really good game. Uh, saved it from being two or three. You know, he he got a few good saves in there. I thought Larry Wilson had one of the best games he's e I've ever seen him have. He had a really, really good game. Mopping up a lot of um, mistakes from uh, Bradley Pritchard, who was playing just in front of him. Um, um, the whole defence played well, really. Um, the Morrison and David both played solidly at the back. Not much got past them. And when did, Ben Hayne was there to stop it. Um, Jordan Cousins, I thought, played quite well. Um, you know, just after winning Young Player of the Month, he played really well. Uh, uh Johnny Jackson, I thought, played alright. But one thing I have an issue with, and I've said it about Powell, he's a, he's a, I mean, he seems like, a, I mean, he is a really nice guy. Um, a legend as a player, but just, he's, sometimes he's, uh, substitutions just... I just get baffled by some of these substitutions, honestly. Um, he, um, uh, we were losing 1 0. It was about 50th minute, I'm tempted to say 50th, 55th minute. Losing 1 0. I see that he's warming up Kermigan, which I think, yes, the second one, he's just coming back from injury, Kermigan, another striker. But what he does is take our current striker off, Simon Church, and put Kermigan, leaving one man up front. Now, when we're 1-0 down, I don't understand why you would leave one man up front. Surely just go for it. And the way we're defending, we could easily launch a counter-attack and get a good... and do well from that. But we didn't. We took... Luck. We took... Like, like we did a striker for a striker, when I really think it would been better to take one of the centre midfielders off, or one of the midfielders in general, and put two up front. Because... Church always looks dangerous when he's playing with Kerm, and Kerm just always looks dangerous. Um, so it's not, so it, that kind of baffled me. And then he did, he left putting two play, uh, two strikers on the pitch until like the last. I think it must have been the 80th minute or 85th minute. It's just you, nothing's really going to happen at that point, you know. And it's really, really. It's quite annoying. It really is annoying to see um, that kind of negativity. I know it's away against QPR. I know one 0 is probably quite a good result, but I don't see the point in leaving one up front. You might as well just go for because we're not going to concede anymore. Our defence was performing solidly. We're probably not going to concede anymore. Um, you know, so there's no. So I don't see a point in kind of change. Just leaving one man up front if you're going to make that change. Um, so that really confused me. I've told, and another thing that Powell seems to do, which is quite irritating, is continuously play Bradley Pritchard. Now, I like Bradley Pritchard because he's, he puts effort in, he tries his hardest and all this. He But he's not championship level in any stretch of the imagination. He is not good enough to be playing at this level. He made mistake after mistake after mistake, and he'd been doing it for the last few games. Yes, he puts effort in. Yes, it's a good start, but you can't. You're not. We're not going to stay up purely based on effort. You know, we can. It's a good start, yeah, but it's not going to 
keep us in the championship. So we need to just start playing our strongest team. We need to, I think we need to start playing. I don't mind playing one up front at the start of an away game or something like that. But you need to start pushing. Because you, you do need to win a few away games, you know. You can't just rely on all your home results. And we definitely can't rely on our home results. Because our home results haven't been good enough either. Well, like, we've got a few draws here and there. But we haven't got enough wins. So we can't rely on our home results. And we at the moment, we can't rely on our results. So what are we going to rely on? Um, we have got uh, our game in hand against Doncaster tomorrow. So expecting the match review on Wednesday. If we get a win on that, we'll move back above the mere wall. And we'll move, I think, three or four places in the table. We can move up. And that and it'll be great to kind of do that. And, you know, hopefully we can. If we play like we did when we last played on cast, they can end up getting called off. We will get battered. But if we play like we did on Saturday with a bit more of an attacking presence, you know, we've, we've defended well. And hopefully with an attacking presence, we can continue. That can um mean that we end up scoring maybe against a... A considerably weaker Doncaster side than QPR. No offence to Doncaster fans, obviously. Um, hopefully we can get three points, which is something we vitally need. Um, and hopefully we can go on and continue. Um, get a good run, get a, a run of four or five wins together. And then kind of get us next to safe, you know. Because... I don't care about getting promoted, particularly in the next couple of years. I just want to consolidate ourselves as a good championship team. Maybe get an investment from elsewhere, which means we can push on to the Premier League. If not, then, you know, we're a championship team. But, you know, um, I guess that's the end of the video, guys. Um, If you liked it, please do leave a like. Please comment on your thoughts if you went to the game, if you didn't go to the game, whatever, whatever you think. Um... Please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.